Sony CEO steps down amidst faltering PS4 sales? Is it true? Is the age of Sony over? Nah, I don't think so. What is going on, guys? Randall Thor 19, the man with the million back again with another video. And Sony released their quarterly earnings report. And there's a lot of misinformation floating around about all this type of stuff. But amidst the information getting out, Sony did, in fact, put out Kaz Harai is stepping down from CEO and Kenshiro Yoshida will be replacing him. So it's an end of an era. Kaz Harai leaving along with Andrew House, uh, two of the guys who realistically built back PlayStation up to the glory days from when it kind of faltered with the PS3. But the numbers for the console are extremely good. I know there are some people out there that say, oh, the sales are down, which technically they are if you compare quarter to quarter. The PS4 was down from 9.7 million to 9 from the same time from October, November, December of 2016 to October, November, December of 2017. So yes, that is true. PlayStation sold more last year in that quarter. But overall, year over year, Sony actually sold more PlayStation 4s in 2017 than they did in 2016. In fact, I think it was their best year ever and it brings the total up the 9 million that they had for this past quarter brings it up to 76.5 million units i'm not really sure if that's shipped or sold i, I think it's i think it's shipped but it really doesn't matter because they'll be sold soon enough so 76 million for playstation 4 almost at what the playstation 3 ended on and uh they expect to sell another 2.5 million units before the end of uh, fiscal year, March 31st. So, I mean, PlayStation's kicking ass and taking names just like Nintendo is. And, of course, Microsoft is doing good for themselves uh, as well. They just did their own earnings report, and they're making money hand over fist. But it's going to be interesting to see how Sony shapes themselves. Uh, Kaz Harai took over around 2012 and we all know what happened with the ps3 you go from playstation 1 100 million units playstation 2 150 million units playstation synonymous with gaming back then and playstation 3 faltered you know it was really expensive at launch 600 dollars we all remember kaz Harai being out there on stage going ridge racer not one of the best moments even when you compare it to, like, you know, attack the giant enemy crab for maximum damage. But, and even though the PlayStation 3 ended up outselling Xbox in the long run, uh, worldwide, when you talk about that generation, everybody says the 361. Mainly because the 361 from, like, the original Xbox, 20 million units to the 360 of 80, they gained a lot of market share. And Sony lost a lot of market share. They lost tons of it. So in the grand scope of things, when people look at who won that generation, even though the Wii sold 100 million units, nobody really considers the Wii to be the victor of that gen. And nobody considers the PS3 to be the victor of that gen, even though it was second place and outsold Microsoft. For some reason, a lot of people considered the 360 the winner of that generation because it dominated North America. Uh, it was the stalwart for th like dev development. People dev'd on that, and honestly, because it was such a misstep for Sony that people didn't people didn't want to say they won because it was such a drastic change from the the dominance that people accepted, you know, from PlayStation. Well, Kaz Harai stepped in. Andrew House then stepped in to take over Kaz Harai's position. They put a plan in place not only to bring PlayStation uh, back to the glory, the glory days, but to bring Sony themselves, Sony the, the company, back from, you know, back into consumers' uh, thoughts. I mean, even in, even in his comment about him leaving, he said, I have stated that my mission is to ensure Sony continues to be a company that provides customers with Kando to move them emotionally and inspires and fulfills that 
their curiosity. To this end, I've dedicated myself to transforming the company and enhancing its profitability, and I'm very proud now that in the third and final year of our current mid-range corporate plan, we are expecting to exceed our financial targets and it excites me to hear more and more people enthused that sony is back again so his job was to put sony back on the mac back back on the map to get people excited about the company again to get playstation back to the top and he's done that sony's back on the top andrew house did his part they're both leaving now will the people coming in after them do as well as kaz harai and andrew house does i mean only time will tell but Sony, there's there's no denying that Sony and PlayStation flourished under Kaz Harai and Andrew House's leadership. So, of course, with them both leaving, even though Kaz Harai is coming, will be stepping down to become chairman of the company, there's a little bit of question marks about why both people are leaving, uh, what this means for the future of the company as well as PlayStation, and will Sony continue to flourish in the ways that uh, the company did under Kaz Harai and Andrew House? I mean, I, I would hope so. Everybody wants a healthy Sony. Everybody wants a healthy Nintendo. Everybody wants a healthy Microsoft out there in the market uh, competing for our dollars, competing for our money so we can get the benefit as consumers, better games, better services, better systems at a cheaper, more affordable price. Uh, We win when these companies fight for our hard-earned dollar. Um, So it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what their plan is going forward. I know they talk about a new uh, uh, like a new part of the plan going forward. I'm just kind of curious to see how Kanchiro Yoshida takes Sony Sony in what direction he wants to bring the company in, and then how uh, Cordera, who's replacing Andrew House him being the PlayStation Network guy, how his new vision of what Sony is going to be, uh, how that, you know, kind of differs from Andrew House's. Because out there, if you look at the financial reports, Sony is making a ton of money on PlayStation Network. Uh, They announced there's like, I want to say 70, I don't have the numbers right in front of me, but like 72 or 74 million PlayStation like monthly active users along with like 31 million uh, subscribers to PlayStation Plus, which is like a 42% attach rate. Or maybe it's a little bit less, but it's right around there. Um, so they're, they're monetizing PlayStation Plus really good. Obviously, it probably can be better. Of course, things can always be better. But they're making a ton of money on digital digital uh marketplace i mean they saw i believe it was like their best year for the store ever like the playstation store saw this like huge increase in year over year and that's because more and more people are going digital which accounts for a lot more money there's more systems out there and and things like that so it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out with new leadership and a new vision uh, for Sony, but you can't deny that Kaz Harai and Andrew House changed Sony for the better and has put PlayStation back where it belongs, some would say, some would argue, back on top. And that's exactly what he wanted to do when he took over back in 2012, and that's exactly what he accomplished when he is, uh, you know, stepping down right now uh, in April 1st. He he did what he said he was going to do. He put PlayStation back in number one, put Sony back in, you know, making money, cutting down the slack, getting rid of the the divisions that weren't making any money. And now Sony's a very, very profitable company. Um, so he did exactly what he said he was going to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see if Sony can keep the momentum going and if the PlayStation can keep the momentum going because we're going to have... A new PlayStation 5 here, and without Kaz Harai and Andrew House to kind of shepherd the PlayStation 5 in, I'm, is is are we going to see the PlayStation 5 falter a little bit? And these are all things I kind of think about when thinking about, you know, the CEO and like the head of, uh, head of PlayStation leaving in the same year. I always kind of think something's going on behind the scenes, but of course we'll never find out. But anyways, I mean... <laughs> They've done a great job. 
He probably wants to spend more time with his family and all that good stuff. I mean, he deserved it. Turn Sony around, turn PlayStation around, and uh, it'll be sad to see him leave. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.